Are you killing your story's impact by stepping out of your scenes? What does that mean? Well, to explain, here's a quick example. We were working with a client, we'll call him Bill. And Bill was recounting a story of the first time he ever tried to take a 75 mile bike ride. This was a big deal for him. He was stretching well beyond his then longest ride of seven miles. And in the setup of the story, Bill talks about how he didn't properly prepare. He took one big water bottle attached to his bike and put three energy bars in his pocket for a 75 mile ride. He thought he was set. He got to the course, was paired up with a partner and took off on his ride. And the first half was okay, but then the heat started to get to him. And, and at that point, he told his partner he had to pull over. And there was a tree nearby, so they pulled over and he was parked under the tree. And at that point, he said, I started to just berate myself. I thought, how stupid can I be? How can I be so unprepared? I mean, everybody else had plenty of water and, and, and hydration. They bought way too many snacks. And how can I be so stupid? And he stepped forward, looked at the camera and said, have you ever done something really stupid? I mean, one of the, something that really embarrassed you and just made you feel like a failure. And then he pulled back from the camera and returned to his story. He said, at that point, my writing partner looked at me and said, Bill, and he shared some wisdom that the writing partner had given him. Now, why is that a problem? Because what Bill had done was he broke the, the rhythm of the story. He was giving us insight into how he was feeling and, and how frustrated he was and how much of a failure. And the logical next step in the story would be to then share the wisdom from his writing partner, which helped him complete the ride. He didn't do that. He stepped out to engage us to ask a question. There are two reasons this is a problem. Number one, he asked a question or a series of questions that the obvious answer is yes. Everybody has done something stupid. Everybody's felt like a failure at some point. So he was engaging the audience needlessly with a question. The second reason this is a problem is that this is the point at which many people will try to inject humor. There is no doubt that humor can be an important point of your presentations, but do not use humor to sacrifice your story and the main point you're trying to get across. The correct way to do this is to build your story, have increasing tension. Let that tension build right to the point of resolution. Then share your message, share your main point. Then any humor that's appropriate and possibly even ask the audience a question. Just make sure it's not one of those obvious yes questions that you know what the answer is before you ask. This is how you can avoid killing the impact of your story. Make this one simple change. Stop stepping out of your story to ask questions, make points or, or be funny and watch the impact of your story grow. If you'd like additional insights into storytelling, sign up for our 52 storytelling tips. These are a series of weekly five-minute audio lessons with a PDF transcription. And the idea behind them is to slowly build the storytelling skill one step at a time. These are complimentary, no cost or obligation to you, and I promise no spam. To sign up for those, just click on the link below. See you next time.